Okay, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. We're wearing masks today just to be a little extra safe. Um, okay. Hey, hey Brad! <laughs> Thursday thoughts with Brad today. Thank you, Brad Etz in the back row. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tell you about a story about a teenage girl, her name's Joanne, okay? And Joanne had kind of a rough teenagerhood, teenager life. Like when she was a teenager, her mom got diagnosed with multiple scler sclerosis or MS. And that was really hard on her and her family. She had a really rough relationship with her dad. Anyway, she gets through, she goes to college. Um, she finishes college and uh, gets married, has a baby. And within a year, I'm trying to remember the timeline. Her mom passes away. She gets divorced from this husband that she married within a year. And she's a single mom trying to raise her little baby who's like a year old. And um, she, she's, she's on welfare, which means she doesn't make enough money to, to feed herself. So she has to depend on the government to, to help provide food. Rough, rough go. Anyway, through all this, she decides that she wants to, she gets this idea um, to write a book. And when you write a book, you have to get it published, meaning there's companies who will help you get that book out there so people will buy it. And so she sends this copy of this book to more than 12 different publishers to get it, it copied. And she doesn't have enough money to even make photocopies. And so she has to manually type out each book to send to each one of these 12 publishers. And the book is 90,000 words. Okay, so it probably took her a really long time to type each one of those by hand and to send those out. All 12 get denied, okay? So she's pretty discouraged all with everything that's going on in her life. Finally, she sends it to one more publisher who thinks it's not a good book, but decides that he's gonna give the first chapter to his daughter to read. His daughter's like eight years old. And when she gets through the first chapter, she begs her dad for more of this book. She's really into it and wants to continue to read it. So he agrees and decides to, to kind of take the gamble and publish this book, okay? So um, that author is J.K. Rowling. Oh, she yes. wrote Harry Potter, okay? Her real name's Joanne, but she goes by J.K. because she doesn't want young boys to not read her books because she's a woman so she changed her author name to JK. That book is one of the best-selling books of all time. Um, she was made at one point she was a billionaire from uh, from that so she went from being on welfare to being a billionaire and she's no longer a billionaire because she's given so much money away. Okay. It's, it's estimated that 500 million Harry Potter books have been sold across the world. And that, that, that we call that like a franchise, meaning all the books and all the movies and all the everything Harry Potter is, has a value of $15 billion, okay? So I tell you that story because obviously she didn't give up on her dreams. She kept working at it. She really put in a lot of effort, even though life did not really serve her, uh, you know, everything on a platter, you know, it was really difficult. And that's really common with people who do great things is that they have to endure really hard things. And that may not be the case with you. You know, you may have life a little bit more figured out, or maybe you won't be on welfare as a single mom, you know, maybe it's not going to be that difficult. But even people who don't have that kind of difficulty in their lives, when they want to do great things, they have to put in that same level of effort. So if you feel like, you know, you've got a difficult go, that's okay. If you just keep at it and keep working at it, that's going to be fine. You're going to, you're going to find success in some way or another. And if you feel like life's pretty good, make sure that you don't just coast along, okay? 
try and find things that are challenging to you, that are hard for you, because otherwise you're not gonna have any growth. So I just, uh, I, I want you to remember that story next time you think about Harry Potter and where that great book and movie and, and franchise came from was somebody who kept going and she could have very easily quit and we wouldn't have had that in our lives. So there is your Thursday Thoughts with Brad. Bye, Brad! <laughs>